Let's denote the three vectors by A, B and C respectively. Now the volume of the parallel pipette formed by these three vectors, let's denote it by V, is equal to the scalar triple product of vectors A, B and C. This can be expressed in determinant form with the first row being the components of vector A, the second row being the components of vector B and the third row being the components of vector C. This can be opened up and is equal to 1 times bracket 1 minus 0 minus A times brackets 0 minus A square plus 1 times brackets 0 minus A. This is equal to 1 plus A cube minus A. Now for the volume V to be a maximum or a minimum, the derivative of V with respect to A should be 0. Now the derivative of V with respect to A is equal to 3A square minus 1. We set this equal to 0, which implies that A is equal to 1 upon root 3 or A is equal to minus 1 upon root 3. Now the second derivative of V with respect to A is equal to 6A. Therefore the value of the second derivative when A is equal to 1 upon root 3 is equal to 6 upon root 3, which is positive. And the value of the second derivative when a is equal to minus 1 upon root 3 is equal to minus 6 upon root 3 which is negative. Now the volume v is minimum when the second derivative is positive. Therefore the minimum volume is achieved when a is equal to plus 1 upon root 3 which is the required answer.